Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton to check out this brand new 2024 Chevy Blazer 2LT with all-wheel drive. The color here is iridescent pearl tricoat. It's got a jet black cloth interior. So we're going to check out this Blazer, see what it's bringing to this two-row SUV segment for the 2024 model year. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of our Blazer 2LT, we have that iridescent pearl tri-coat, great looking white paint, Chevy bow tie on the middle of the grill, flat black on the grill, which I think goes great against the white paint. As we move on closer, as you can see, separate housings for your LED turn signals and daytime running lamps. Down below, you got your LED headlights. Under, down below here on the grill, you got like a brushed aluminum all the way down so it looks pretty good here in the front end now as we swing around to the wheels wheel and tire package on this 2lt blazer you're looking at a 20 inch gloss black machined aluminum alloy wheel with the chevy badge on the center cap standard brake and rotor package now these 20 inch wheels are wrapped in michelin primacy tour all season tires 235 on the width a 55 series sidewall 20s all four corners, all wheel drive. As we back out, take a look at the full side profile. Again, the white and the black looks good, flat black over the wheel wells. As we come on in closer, we do not have LED turn signals on the side view mirror. It's just a color matched mirror with some gloss black, blazer name down on the front of the door, color matched on the front and rear door handle, the fuel filler on the left side of the vehicle. Up top, we got a roof spoiler coming off the top, color matched roof with shark fin antenna, Gloss black roof rails, no sunroof. Rear end of the Blazer, I think it looks good. You got LED lighting back here all the way around as well. And now our roof spoiler is fairly large. As you can see, we'll give you a side view. See how nice it looks. So I think you could take this wiper, tuck it up underneath that spoiler to clean everything up. You got the Chevy bow tie in the back here. You got Blazer all wheel drive right on the bottom left of the tailgate with some brushed aluminum down below. In between the dual exhaust and that panel down there, that's the towing uh, hitch. And we'll talk about those numbers when we take a look at the engine. We are under the hood of this Blazer. What do we have for a power plant? Well, we have Chevy's 2-liter turbocharged inline four-cylinder engine made into a nine-speed automatic transmission, 228 horsepower, 258 pound-feet of torque. This Blazer can tow up to 3,250 pounds, MPGs, 22 in the city, 27 on the highway, 24 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior, you're going to want to know, Mike, how much do I have to lay out to pick up one of these? So here it is. Base price for the 24 Blazer 2LT all-wheel drive, 38100 Now, this vehicle's got, got some options. We have to add in $1,225 for the convenience package. That gives you the power rear lift gate, the inside rear view mirror, auto dimming, roof rails in black, wireless charging pad, enhanced automatic emergency braking, universal home remote, adaptive cruise control. We then have to add in $1,100 for these gloss black machined aluminum alloy wheels. We then have to add in $995 for the iridescent pearl tricoat paint. We have to add in 690 bucks for the driver confidence package. That's going to get your rear cross traffic alert, lanes change alert with side blind zone alert. And then we get a credit of 145 bucks because it's not equipped with rear park assist. We then have to add in destination and delivery of $1,395 from Chevrolet's Arzipe. Mexico assembly plant, and I knew I screwed up that name, so my apologies to the Mexican viewers. Total MSRP from the factory, $43,360. Let's check out the interior. Starting with our driver's door panel, I like the chrome and the brushed aluminum trim around it rather than the gloss black plastic. I think that was a good job. Nice soft armrest with the stitching and the flat black on the switch gear. This is where you open your tailgate from inside the vehicle, right on the door panel. As we move to the foot box, nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. All season Chevy mats are in the vehicle. 
We have power seats with lumbar for the driver, manual assist for the front passenger, jet black cloth with the light gray stitching and a light gray insert to try to dress it up. Nice, nice bolstering. Headrest is a little firm, but for a base interior with the cloth, it looks pretty darn good. Passenger door panel, same as the driver's soft touch, brushed aluminum trim, chrome door handle, soft armrest with the stitching, looks nice. Skinny door pocket though, standard audio system up top, soft touch with the light gray stitching chrome that runs you right into the heat and air vent. And then our glove box, that switches up here by your infotainment screen. You pop that and you get a nice large glove box. Infotainment screen in here, you get Chevrolet's 10.2 inch infotainment system, wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto, no nav built into this one. So all the nav will come through your phone, but you have your audio controls, we can set up your Sirius XM radio or any of your other radio stations. You can Bluetooth your phone, get your phone set up. You can go right here and you can turn on your turn by turn navigations through OnStar. That's through an OnStar advisor. And then you have your climate controls right here. We can turn that on. And then here we go. We got our dual zone climate control going. We're going to turn this baby down and we can sync them together so now we got them all synced we can decide where our fan speed wants to be and all that other stuff we can put it on auto so we're all set there and now we really got the really got it going with the fans but it's a nice easy setup to use now we come to our rear view camera nice and large with trajectory takes up the whole screen crystal clear here's your trailer center line in case you're hooking up a trailer so they got you covered there no problem Go back to park and we get back to the middle. No problem at all. We got our apps over here as well. So you can get those set up. Of course, you got to set up your Wi-Fi hotspot as well. User profiles, the whole jazz. And it is a touch screen. So you can swipe it however you want to. Down below here, here is your volume knob and then your home button. So you can, can have some functionality with the screen by not using it as a touch screen. Here we have our engine auto stop start, push button start, and four-way hazards. Down below, there's your dual climate control. Down here, if you don't want to use the screen, we got three-stage heated seats for the driver and the front passenger right over here, all the way over to the end. So they got you covered there with that. So I like that, but no heated steering wheel. Would have liked to have seen one in this 2LT trim. Here is your fan speed and defrost down here, two heat and air vents, USB-C, USB-A, wireless charging pad. Here is the gear shift that's going to take you through this nine-speed automatic. Chevy bow tie right on it, which I think is a kind of a cool touch. Here's our lane keep assist. Here's our drive modes, which we'll go over when we take a look at the dash. I love, the, again, this light silver or light gray trim rather than the gloss black. That's a nice choice. And then here's our Chevy key fob. Great looking key fobs from Chevy. Lock, unlock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, bow tie on the back, looking good. Spot to slide your phone in if you want. Here's our armrest with the stitching soft touch. And then we open that up. Nice large glove box with a 12 volt. Chevy steering wheel, nice steering wheel. No 10 and two notches, but it's a nice thickness. Not too thick, not too skinny, just right. Just like three bears. Chevy bow tie on the horn button, some chrome or brushed aluminum trim to lift up the wheel. Round bottom wheel, but I have plenty of room to get in and out of this blazer, no problem. It's a nice airy driver cockpit. On the left side, you got your cruise control. You have your parking sensor controls. On the right side, you have the controls for the digital portion of your dash, telephone and voice commands. No paddles here, but we have our adaptive high beams and directionals on the left with our front and rear wiper on the right stalk. Down below here, right uh, and dim the dash, set your headlight controls, electric emergency, excuse me, electric parking brake. And then down further, we have a manual tilting and telescoping wheel. So Chevy's got you covered there. Then as far as your dash goes, you got that digital analog combo, right? Digital gauges, your speedometer, tachometer, fuel level, and cooling temperature. Then you have a small four inch display in the center. We'll take a look at our drive modes. So we can go to off-road, sport, all-wheel drive mode on, and we can go over to 
two-wheel drive mode on. So it is an easy one to use, but I'm not a big fan of the dial because the dial, you have to turn it, but not only turn it, but hold it for a second till it changes modes. And I am just not a big fan of that. I'd rather just click it and have the mode show up rather than clicking it and holding it when the mode shows up, releasing it. So it's a bit of a different operation, but you do have some drive modes. And then, of course, we have more information in the center. If you want to look at that, we can go in here and go into different menus that you may want to see as you're going down the road. So it's nice and easy to figure out. There's your and there's a lot of info because each one of these has submenus, as you can see, and uh, not bad. But our fuel range, as you could tell, was really low. So we'll need to get gas before we take this baby out for a spin. Overhead console, there's a spot right here for your sunglasses. If you want your LED interior lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button right here remains off. So when you open the door, lighting comes on. When you close the door, the lighting dims out. SOS, in case there's an emergency on the road. OnStar, right here. Garage door programmables, right there. No roof controls to show you. Sun visor with vanity and a light. Does it slide? Yes, it does. Getting in the back of this blazer, I have the seat set for my driving position. We'll climb on in. Flat roof, easy to get into. And now, five foot 11, playroom for my head, shoulders, and knees. Black cloth all the way down, seat pocket behind the driver's side and the front passenger. And here in the back, we got two heat and air vents. And then it looks like we got a USB-C, USB-A and a place for storage down below. And then the back door panel does not have the same look to it. See our front door panel with the soft touch and the uh, light gray trim around the door handle. Then we come to the back and it's all flat black plastic with flat black plastic around that chrome door handle, but we still have the stitching with the soft armrest. Now back seats, same as the front, jet black cloth with the light gray, light gray insert, pretty comfortable for base cloth seats. Open this up, really hard armrest right here. Two cup holders. So overall, it's a pretty comfortable place to be in the back of this 2LT Blazer. And I got my heat and air and my connectivity, so I should be all set. Getting in the tailgate area of the Blazer, you can pop it from the door panel or from your key fob, or you can come to the back and right underneath the license plate, hit the button. Nice electric assist on the way up. Nice electric assist on the way down using this button here. And with the rear seats up, you're looking at 30.5 cubic feet of cargo space. So that's a good number. We have extra storage on either side. Here are the carpeted floor mats that we mentioned earlier. Underneath here, we got our spare tire and jack. So thank you, Chevy, for that. In the back here, you got some LED lighting as well. So that's a nice touch. And you have pull levers to drop the back row. So here we go, left side first. Of course, it's gonna make a liar out of me and not wanna go down because it's stiff. We'll try this one. Look at that baby. Come on, honey, you can do it. Slowly but surely. Boy, these things are really stiff. Let me go and push that down. There we go. Now, with all seats down, 64.2 cubic feet of cargo space in the back of this blazer. Let me know what you think. Window sticker on this blazer. Here we go. My apologies for the glare, but it's a very cloudy day. 2024 2LT blazer cloth. Start with our standard equipment, move across, options, total vehicle price, crash rating, made by Chevy in Mexico, and fuel economy estimates. Let's take this baby out for a spin. Right, we're in the 24 Blazer out here on highways and byways at Mercer County. And uh, what do we got going on so far? Well, we got the smaller power plant in here, right? We got the two liter turbocharged inline four, nine speed auto. You can get the V6 in the 2024 Blazer, but you got to move up to the 3LT trim and then you can option it in or you go RS and then it comes standard 
or you can go Premier and option it in uh, to that. But in the 2LT, the only power plant is this 2-liter turbo, but it's got enough horsepower, I think. I don't think it's, it's wanting for more horsepower. 19.35 foot turning radius, let's go. And it gets it around, not bad, not bad. We're gonna stop, we'll give it a shot, and let's see what happens. Feather it in, new engine. But it gets up to speed nice and easy. No problem, no issues. Now we're gonna to come to an emergency stop in three, two, one. Oh, very nicely done. Nice and linear, and now we'll take off again. So it's gonna be noisy. These four cylinders are gonna be noisy under load, but once you take your foot off, it quiets down. You can have some road noise, outside noise in this blazer. It's not a loud cabin, but it certainly isn't real quiet either. Handling pretty good. Coming around the turn, we get some body roll. What do you expect in an SUV? Steering is fairly tight, but it's a little light. So not, not the end of the world. Got good tech inside here, right? For the 2LT, which is the base trim on the 24 Blazer, you get the 10.2 inch infotainment system, wireless CarPlay, Android Auto, right? You get your dual climate, you got your heated seats. You got connectivity in the back for the rear seat passengers as well. So, it really isn't bad as far as that goes it's bringing some value but again the base trim is 43 grand and change maybe 44 uh that's a lot of money uh for a, a compact two row excuse me for a two row suv it's got a good amount of space but let me know what you guys think we've driven the blazers before we've driven this before 2024 is is, is unchanged from 23 for the most part same options same engine choices i like the fact that they still give you the option for the v6 i think that's a good move and i like the fact that the v6 comes standard in the rs give it a little bit more performance i think that's even a better move but overall it's a very well done competent suv to drive the question for you guys is to tell me is this the SUV of choice. There are so many choices in the segment as far as these SUVs go, especially two road jobs. You got the obviously the Koreans with Kia and Hyundai. You got the Japanese entries into this market. You got the American entries. You got the European entries. I mean, it seems like everybody has a two-row SUV anymore. So let me know what you think. Does this 2LT Blazer, does this grab you as yeah this is the one i would go with considering all the myriad of competition that is out there in this segment or do you think you need to go to a, a different trim on the blazer if you really like this one or do you think you need to go to a different brand altogether this isn't just this isn't just doing it for you let me know what you think in the comments but overall it's a nice SUV to drive. It drives easy. It drives nicely. It's a nice, big, wide, open cabin. Plenty of visibility out all the glass in the car, especially the windshield. I got blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist. All that jazz is in this Blazer. So really no problems at all with any of that. And I guess it all depends on just personal preference and what you guys would prefer to go with in your SUV. So let me know in the comments what you think. But I would like to thank Sioka Chevy of Princeton for allowing the channel access to this 2024 Chevy Blazer 2LT all-wheel drive for review today. I'd like to thank all of you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Chevy's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.